Welcome to Good Mythical More. We are gonna try every flavor of David's sunflower seeds and rank them so you know which one to pick next time you're in a sunflower seed picking mood. But first, we're gonna name that squad. What is a group of frogs called? Group of frogs is oh, a- Oh, we should be able to get this. Uh, a croak. You know what? These things come to you real fast. Maybe you should have been a zoologist. A long time ago, because everything's been named now. That's the sad thing. It's like zoologists get into it now, they're like thinking they're gonna name stuff, and you really gotta go to remote places and, and uh, discover things that are under other people's noses, because people live in remote places. They do. And then you, you, you're, you're sitting there and you're like, I've got it, I've seen it, I'm naming it. And then someone walks up and they're like, um, that's a kookajow. A kookajow. Uh, and I already named it. Yesterday, found it, named it. It's called an army, army of, of frogs. frogs. I of should course. have known that. Now, uh, it's gonna be so violent seeming. All right, so we have every flavor of David. In order to get every flavor of David, you got to go jumbo. You can't. It, the, the normal size Davids don't. They don't. They don't give you all the flavors. Can I just describe the sort of physical feeling I have right now? Remember in elementary school. I like this packaging, David. Back in the day in elementary school, you didn't change for PE. You yeah. changed for PE in high school, but in elementary school, you wore whatever you wore to school out to do PE and Are then you came saying back. That I stink or you stink? It's not mm -hmm. about stinking, it's just that feeling of like, I was out there, it was kind of hot, I was sweating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I come back and like, I'm sure you can kind of smell us. That prepubescent stink? It's that sweat. You smell like sweat, like it doesn't smell like BO, but yeah, the yeah, smell yeah. of sweat. And so, like, another class. And then after the next class, you start adjusting. I feel like that. Um, these are resealable, so points for that. Uh, David's was founded in 1926 by Armenian American David. Uh, he, he has a last name. It is Der Herabinian. 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 Fresno, California. Fresno? Um, yeah, 1926. Who is really, who is really into sunflower seeds. I love sunflower seeds, but yeah. only, but not the flavored sunflower seeds. Are you I, able to get into I, the bags? I, I can't get into the bags. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we brought scissors for you, Link. Um, there. There's scissors. Yeah, but that would be. The reduced the sodium in absence of tasting the regular Try, are good. Try they, they, they will uh, suffice, the reduced sodium. But as soon as you taste every other one, the reduced sodium will taste like reduced sodium. Where is the reduced sodium? Is it? It's the I green found it rather Oh, here it is. Um, sweet and spicy. Ooh, that so sounds We've nice. had the so, sweet and spicy on El Tap before. Hold on. I was going to suggest okay. that we, as Stevie was basically getting at, um, we should try the reduced sodium first to give it the best chance. Sweet and it's salty. Got, like, bath bomb mist in my eye. Um, I. I do not, well, that's, that's too many. Here, try some reduced sodium. I do not frequent these, but... Um, Stevie, do you chew them or do you just put them in your mouth and let the flavor? I do one at a time. One at a time? Yeah, one at a time. Know. Well, because I don't like the sogginess. I like to do it one at a time, crack it open, and then I, I do, I'm sure I said this on LTAT, but I do like a two cup method. You got one cup that has the seeds and then you have a spit cup. And I really like sunflower seeds because you can eat them. It, like if you're in that kind of like oh, munchy mood and you just want to eat something, but you don't want it to, you know, pile up on you. Seeds, wow. perfect. Uh, these reduced sodium seem to be salty enough, having not eaten any other ones. Hmm. Yeah. But um, so again you gotta you gotta know where to go first and according to Stevie if you start with the reduced sodium we'll put those over there for now okay uh, how about what do we have next sweet and spicy all right these are great for when you're fishing or when you're driving or when you're doing something that takes a long time mm. Mm, that's good mm. it's sweet where's your spice the spice will come mm. the spice is coming for me in a good way. I love these. Man. Okay. I do believe we also love them when mild. we had them on LT. Very mild spice. I'm gonna save these. I'm taking those home. Uh, they're a little too sweet for me. 
The only other ones you've had before on the table are the um, barbecue ones during the barbecue flavor match taste test. And I don't think we've had but, any of them. I mean, ones. a lot of trouble. Do you, if you don't eat them on road trips and fishing, when do you eat them? Here's the only the thing about a road trip is you'd have to do the like window down, spit it out situation. Because you can't do a two cup. What if you just eat the seeds? Just, just, just do it. Here. This There's is, wrong this is normal. See if the normal. I need more because I've been doing like a, yeah. Mmm. Just a little more salty. That's better than, that's way better than low sodium. But again, if you haven't had these, it's a lot of work for a little thing. I like that. Mm. But you're just that, like sucking on the, you're yeah. just putting the seeds in and sucking the flavor. For this, no, it's I'm not. fine. You think, no, you think, red is. Yeah. I'm manipulating the seed out. I'm getting one seed out. Right, that one's better. The, the, these are better. I don't like the sweet and spicy. So well, I'm just going to pick my favorite. Ooh, sour cream and onion. This is nice. Stevie, I got something to confess. So you do it like confess. while you're watching TV? Yeah. Or reading a book or something. Reading a, reading book, a book and just doing that's weird. Do it, man, this sounds like fun. Just sitting oh, there same. reading a book and just like sucking on sunflower seeds. No, if you want a snack and you want that like repetition of snacking, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like you could do a bag of popcorn, but that it doesn't have the same kind of satisfaction. How long do I'm gonna start doing this while mouth? I watch television? How long does one stay in your mouth? Very quickly. It does not stay in Man. for long. I gotta watch this. Oh, ref. Sour cream and onion oil. Good boy. Mm. I mean, what's the. 190 mm. calories per serving. About two servings per container? Yeah, this. Good gosh, that's a lot of. That's a lot of. Manipulating. Mouth manipulation. You're gonna be, your mouth is gonna be sore yeah, if you but, go through a serving. But this is what I would consider this a low calorie food because the whole package is 430 calories and you're not, no one's going to go through a, you don't go through a whole pack. No, I think it takes me like a pack per book. Four. <laughs> no. I think there's more like four servings in there. Sweet and salty is not as good as sweet and spicy. If you don't like the sweet, you don't even need to taste it. Um, Stevie, I got a, I got a confession to make. I had a dream about Ooh. Cassie last night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did not think it was going in that direction. Um, <laughs> It was kind of like this where it's like. A show? I, no, it wasn't a show, but like I was in a room with Cassie, but I know that people were watching us on like screens. It wasn't like. Closed circuit? It wasn't Mythical Beast. It wasn't, it wasn't an internet video. It was, it was like mm. employees and friends watching on Zoom, and she was sitting in a chair, and then right next to it, there was like a couch and I was kind of laying down. So my feet were like near her forearm on the arm of this chair. And I like, I playfully kicked her in the forearm, okay? Just playfully. And then I looked at her forearm and it had bruised mm. as, and as you know how like a really old person will mm. bruise and it'll be like the whole like part of their arm turns into a bruise? Like this happened to Cassie. And I could tell that it kind of hurt her. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, it was like a what, what what we call growing up a love lick. I was just kind of like patting her with my foot. And it like- You didn't mean to do it. I didn't kick her hard. I kicked her in a loving way. But she, this hematoma came up and I felt so bad. And she was trying to hide that she was in pain because she didn't want to make me feel bad. She didn't want you to feel bad. And I started bawling. Yeah, you should have. Like, I, I can't remember the last time in my dream that I have like just bought like I was so, I felt so bad like my my eyes are watering up right now thinking about it like yeah you should feel horrible I felt absolutely horrible uh, and that that's just that's just like me isn't it I think I'm that's doing just like me doing something nice to somebody raising dream. up a hematoma yeah there's a lot to unpack there he did, he he's got a lot of guilt going on. Mm. Uh, I really like. I sour really cream wanted to. I didn't. I didn't manufacture the tears, but I was glad that I was crying, and I did. I did lean into it because I wanted her to know. Care, yeah. I wanted her to know that, like, I was, I was, I was sorry, and uh, mm. I'd like oh. for you to tell her. Okay, I'll relay all of this. 
Spicy queso, not good. Cracked pepper. Oh, I think I'd like those. Stevie, this has got to be your jam. I, I know you like had... it a pepper. Yeah, I feel like I should. I feel like I should go down that route. Mm. You know, Cassie always has because she's always doing like some kind of uh, woodworking or some something with tools, and so she has like a lot of cuts and bruises, and then she it, and you know she can she has a high pain tolerance. Uh, oh, good. Me, not so much. Really? So I've bruised you before. Oh, I bruise easily, and she she calls me QWERTY hands because I, you know, I just am at the computer all day typing, and so whenever I hurt myself, I like mm. to really capitalize on the moment and really make sure she knows that I have hurt myself. Cut my thumb, really talk about it every day. Every day I talk about it so that she knows I hurt mm -hmm. myself. She calls you QWERTY fingers? QWERTY hands. Um, yeah. This is horrible. Yeah, spicy queso, I'll throw that away. That's nasty. Jalapeno hot salsa. Cracked pepper is a home run. Cracked pepper is so Sour good. Sour cream and onion is a home run. Yep. And yep. I and sweet and spicy is a home run for me. Those are my favorites right now. Yeah, I don't I don't like the sweet and spicy. I mean, when's the last time you cried in a dream, Rhett? Um, cried in a dream? Not sure I've ever cried in a dream. You ever felt remorse? In real life? Well, yeah, let's go there. Uh, Have you ever felt remorse, dude? I cry quite often in real life. I didn't say, did but, you cry in real life? Did you my, feel remorse in your dream? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I've had dreams where I got myself into something that I regretted. But it's usually not me doing something to somebody, I don't think. It's just like doing something stupid or not doing something well. Like being given an opportunity and blowing it. Oh, yeah, that's that's have, your psychology. I have those dreams. Jalapeno hot salsa, not bad at all. How's barbecue? I could do without barbecue. We want to remind you, um, if you want the mythical Snackiverse lunchbox and thermos set, uh, that collectible is only available to Mythical Society third degree members, and you got to join third degree quarterly or annual by March thirty first to qualify for it, mythicalsociety.com. Uh, barbecue? What happens when you try to get one? Ooh. Out, and it just disintegrates. Did you like Maybe. these? No, they, they were they were not good. The what, first what? time you had those, you both also did not like them. Consistent. Yeah, sometimes I worry about that. I, I have dreams that I'm given the opportunity to be consistent on this show, and then I blow it. Hey, let's talk about possums. All right, so those are bad. Uh, hold on, you're eating, okay, jalapeno hot so hot salsa, you like that. Mm. Is there something else over here that I haven't eaten? Oh, dill pickle? Mm. Let's save the dill pickle. Uh, buffalo style ranch. Oh man, David has really been busy. Yeah, Did you know, if a possum's mouth is open, you could just stick your hand. Yeah. I encourage you to do this. right in there. Is this a test of consistency given that we've had this conversation five times? Yeah, okay. I do think this is the fifth time. Okay, I understand now. But this time you brought it up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's good. I, I, like, I like the possum conversation. Well, it's it's we fascinating. Wanted, we wanted to do a whole episode dedicated to this about putting a pos putting your hand in a possum's mouth, but we determined that too many people would be uncomfortable and that it would making the possum uncomfortable. It would making the possum uncomfortable. <laughs> we knew it would making the possum. I'm opening something and trying to talk and talking about something different. Um, give, me, give me give me the um, buffalo style ranch. We thought about maybe getting a possum in here, regular ranch, and, and putting uh, our hand in and his and mouth. And putting our hand in his mouth, but because they seem so frightened, everyone would be like, "This is animal torture," and it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be, but everyone would say it was. And it would be like it wouldn't be like a possum that we grabbed off the side of the road. It would be a like professional a, like, mouth, like a like a pet possum. A mouth. You can get any kind of animal in Los Angeles in it for like to be in something. It would be like a what do they call it? It would be a, a movie possum, a picture possum. Picture possum. It'd be a picture possum that lives on a farm, like in Santa Clarita. It's like, oh yeah, he was in Free Willy too. <clears throat> do you want to try ranch? It came right or out of the hole. Ranch first. I didn't see either free ranch or, or buffalo free ranch first. Uh, ranch. Okay. Ranch first. 
Did you think I was going <laughs> to? Well, you asked me what I wanted. Well, I'm giving it to you first. Oh, oh. Mm -mm. It's not bad once you get used to it, but mm. it's, yeah. a bit, it's a bit much. Mm. I wonder what the most famous possum in the world is. There may not be a famous possum. That's an interesting question. Is there a famous possum? The possum from the phrase awesome There's possum. There's a list. A list of fictional marsupials. No, I won't. Ran we don't like ranch. Possum. Will we like buffalo ranch better? Probably. There's a Jill, Joey, Lil Jack, Jojo, and Jilly Bean, who appear, the uh, Virginia possum family who appeared in Opossum in My Pocket. <laughs> This is horrible. You don't like this because it's actually more blue cheese tasting. Oh, is that what it is? But they don't want to say that because no one will buy it. So they call it Buffalo Ranch, but it's blue cheese. We've just discovered something, y'all. It's not it, It's not coming together for me. As a blue cheese lover, it's not coming together. Wow, that says a lot right there. I do not like it. I do not like the ranch. Like, if you're going in for a, a, a pack of something that's jumbo size, you got to know reliably that you're gonna like it. And that's what we're doing for you right now. You, because the guilt associated with buying a jumbo and not liking it, you, if you're like me, you have my neurosis, then you sit there and you force yourself to, to eat the whole thing anyway. And if you have his neurosis, you're like, you know what, I should have, I picked the wrong one, picked I the failed. Wrong one. Yeah, didn't get the best flavor. All right, dill pickle. I think dill pickle's gonna be so good. Deal pickle. Deal pickle. What'd you say about those famous possums? You were saying something oh, man, important. I, I, I just X'd out. It's, you, a, it's a famous you X'd possum. It out? X'd out. Mm. It's a famous possum. Mm. This works. Family from. This is fun. But how long do something. possums live? I think possums live two to five years. <laughs> no, possums live four years. Well, that would be two to five. Oh. Um. Oh, oh no! Common. Virginia oh, possum, possum is two, and Virginia is four. So we were both right. What is a Virginia? What's the difference? The Virginia one lives longer. Everybody thinks they're southern, but then when you talk to them, you find out they're not really southern. Oh, the Virginia ones, I feel like we see more often than the common. The Virginia ones are cuter. I definitely see the common ones around here. Okay, let's um okay, let's reach a verdict. Dill pickle are good, but I don't know if you could sit there through a whole movie and eat these. Maybe you get used to it. Um I think this is a good second pat bag to have around. Let me just I just just a little advice for you, because I what you're you're talking about beginning to eat these while you watch television with your family. Yeah. They don't need any more mouth noises coming from you. Oh. Like, <laughs> for your family's sake. I'm saying the idea of, I don't of make you any, sitting there. Any mouth noises. Putting sunflower, your, your wife would be so upset with you. Let me, and your yeah. kids would be so annoyed. Yep. If Link's over there, like an old man, I imagine when Stevie does it, you don't even know she's doing it. It's like, oh, Stevie's eating sunflower seeds. I didn't even know, she's been doing it the whole time. We've been reading these books next to each other. But if you were to do it with your family and we all trying to watch Survivor, they would be like, Dad, stop it. And I'm just looking out for you and your family. So, oh, so you yeah. need to find maybe a solo time to do this. Maybe when, on some of your hikes. Well, maybe I'll just wear a helmet. That's like a soundproof helmet? This is horrible. All right, so we've come down to it. I think that cracked pepper is the number one. Uh, sour cream and onion is... Um, Number two. And if you want a little spice. Dill pickle is a tie for number if two. If you want a little spice, and I know a lot of people do, sweet and spicy is good. Um, there you go. We did it, David. Get the latest quarterly collectible item, the Mythical Snackiverse Lunchbox and Thermos Set by joining the Mythical Society third degree quarterly or annual plan by March 31st. Visit mythicalsociety.com.